Welcome back to the series. In the previous video I forgot to say that this mod modifies the general behavior of all wood harvesters. So today we will use this Komatsu for testing. In this video we are going to try to add two inputs to fit the lock forward and backward. I'm going to get down to it and come back to show you the result. I already have the main functionality working, but first, let me show you very quickly the inputs on the menu. As I said, I added two inputs, one to fit forward and another to fit backward. This is the button to fit to the computer lens that we talked about in the previous video. And finally, I have also added an input to open the menu in case someone finds it useful. Now we are going to cut down a tree to show the functionality. If I press the fit button forward, it fits it while I hold it down and when I release it, it stops. And exactly the same with the other button, but this time backwards. Now I have to spend a little more time on it because I have to make this functionality compatible with the option shown in the previous video. Let's take a look at how this functionality behaves when automatic feed option is turned on. After cutting, the automatic feeding will start. And now if I use the rollers while it's feeding the tree, it stops it and cancels the automatic start. In this case, I have cancelled by feeding the tree backward, but it works the same if you use the feed forward button. There is also another way to cancel the automatic feed start. I'm processing the tree with automatic feeding and when I get to the end, I don't want it to feed automatically, so what I do is use the feed forward or feed backward button while the saw is cutting to cancel the automatic feeding. Now, for example, I can use manual feeding to cut small pieces that can later be mulched. Now we are going to see how it interacts with fine register with cut button. If you have fine register with cut button turned on, after using the manual feed, the cut button will cut the lock. If you hit it again, it fit the tree and continue the process as normal depending on the options you have chosen. If instead of using file register with cut button, you use the fit to computer length button, you can press it at any time to fit the tree to the desired length. For example, if I press that button now, it fits back to 5 meters which is the length I have set. Now I'm going to add some more details. I have modified the implementation so that you can use the rollers even if you don't have a tree in the head. And it reproduces the sound but not the limb particles. I have also fixed the rollers to rotate in the correct direction as by default they only rotate forward. In the next video, we are going to add a little functionality that I think you will like. If you liked the video, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe so you don't miss the next episode. That's all for now, thanks for watching.